Hey, I want to do a quick review of two really popular cameras right now, uh, both in pretty consistent price points. Um, I got interested in this one right here because Best Buy's got it on sale right now for $98. And I have been messing with some of the Casa um, applications as well as some of their, uh, their smart outlets, smart devices. Been really impressed with it. Um, easy to pick up at Best Buy, Amazon. And then the Cloud Cam. Uh, obviously, it's an Amazon product. It's going to be around for a while and uh, pretty cheap, $119. Uh, so, some of the specs on these things. Um, they are powered, they're not battery operated, uh, 120 to 130 degree viewing angle. The Casa Cam has a 130 degree viewing angle. The Cloud Cam has 120. Um, neat thing about the Casa Cam is it can have privacy mode set up so that you can turn off LEDs. Uh, Cloud Cam you cannot. They've hard coded it so that it is always on. Both claim to be 1080p. Uh, cameras um, both run off of USB interface and 5 volt adapter. Uh, packaging in the Cloud Cam is pretty lackluster. Um, quick setup guide you got to download an app off the Play Store or the Marketplace. Um, comes with AC adapter as well as a mounting bracket and some pretty crappy screws. The Casa Home oh, this is pretty interesting. They obviously want good reviews and stuff. It makes you feel good to open that out of the box. Uh, the camera is in this little caddy. And then a little bit more detailed guide on how to set it up as well as similar mounting bracket and additional crappy screws. Um, thing to note, here are the two cameras. The cloud cam is very lightweight, very plasticky, and has some restricted uh, angles depending upon which way you put the mount you flip it this way and then it has more of a tilt so it stinks that it doesn't have a completely articulating mount the plug is a nice firm insert on the back it's a USB interface um, speaker on the back and it's just light it is a really light plasticky feeling camera set like this um, smaller profile. The TP-Link or the Casa Cam, very similar to a Nest Cam. It's got some heavier weight, uh, an aluminum mount, and this guy moves both directions. There you go. And has a similar interface like the Nest. This is just magnetically linked in um, to where you can reset the camera and also the speaker. Um, what I like about it, it is black. That is only available in white from what I could tell. And I can turn that little LED off if I wanted to. Of course, I could just put some electrical tape over that one. Um, but a little bit heavier. Um, the Cloud Cam has a little bit longer USB cable that comes with it. I will say from my experience on this thing, the setup time for the Casa was fast. I mean, ridiculously fast. It connected very quickly, doesn't require Bluetooth uh, beacon uh, for location services. Uh, it literally, the app joins to its Wi-Fi, its broadcasting, and then adds it to your Casa app. The Amazon Cloud Cam <clears throat> requires you to enable all the location services and takes a long time. Uh, the Cloud Cam app from Amazon is a separate app. Uh, you have to download it, you have to log into your Amazon account, um, and then enable its service. Now, 
One thing that I noticed as well is both of them will do a firmware update. This guy was substantially faster than this. It took me from unboxing to getting a live view about 25 minutes to get this guy online. Uh, this one, two, two, three minutes. Um, so let's take a look at how they function. All right, so Casa app. And we'll go to the device tab. This is all the devices in the Casa app. I really like the Casa app. Um, I like the TP-Link stuff. This is very Wemo-ish, um, and it is super easy. It doesn't require any special hub. Uh, all this stuff is Wi-Fi enabled, and they do a fantastic job. Um, Little smart outlets cost about 25 bucks, and then you can add a whole bunch of stuff, including the camera. And you can turn off camera mode so that it won't record, it's in privacy mode. You can turn it on right here, um, and then it will go into activity recording. Neither one of these cameras do continuous recording like the Nest, uh, but they are substantially cheaper as well. So if we go into the camera, it's going to go to a live feed, and you can hear it picking up audio very well. This the echo. Um, we can do two-way talk. Get out of there before it echoes. Feedbacks. Uh, we can turn on and off schedules. So we can set privacy mode automatically based on schedules here. Um, very intuitive. Uh, however you want to get it set up. And we have various tweaks. Obviously we can turn it on, change the name, create activity zones, uh, privacy and sensitivity. So three levels of sensitivity and then privacy modes and then like right now it's on 720p um, but we can turn turn it to best or just good uh, we got pretty good bandwidth here so we're not even concerned about that rotate the video night visions auto again I could turn that status LED off which I probably will because this is going to be for security and there we go it tells you it's in live mode and that is a pretty dang good angle and pretty good quality. All right, let's get out of that. Now let's go to Cloud Cam. All right, so we're gonna default to a live view. The angle is very similar. I got a little bit more realistically on the Casa Cam. And this one has a good microphone, but you can tell it's not nearly as good as the other one. Um, looking at the picture, the quality is, is a lot duller. And that may just be visual on the screen. I don't know what the exported media looks like. But this is also going to show the timeline events as motion is detected. And we can click on a, one to play. Pretty decent. Um, you can download, share it, all kinds of good stuff. Pretty typical. Okay, so let's get out of that and let's go jump into some of the neat features. Um, motion sensor and detection. So one thing I've noticed is that the Casa Cam doesn't like a lot of uh, motion events right in a row. Um, so it's gonna catch your first motion event pretty well. But if you have other motion events in that same time frame, it won't catch them as quickly. Um, I think it's because it's still recording the clip. But we're gonna walk in to the furthest angle of this barn and see which one lights up. Looks like I got the Casa Cam link before I got the Cloud Cam. And so really what we want to look now is, all right, which one picked up better? And if we go to activities, 
See, there I am. I picked up the, the microphone really well and noticed that it actually started streaming before I entered in the barn. I could hear me, I don't know if it picked up on the video, but you could hear it very well. All right, and go to cloud cam. And it says motion detected. Don't see me anywhere. Well, it looks like these clips are set to forty five seconds. That must have been recording already. What I've noticed, let's take, I can see another one that I've done. Yeah, let me get back on that. Okay, so this one, it doesn't pick me up until I'm a good 10 feet inside the barn. So... There's the two cameras for your consideration. And a couple things to think about. Both these cameras are, uh, they've got subscription plans, but three cameras are included uh, for free. The Amazon will do uh, up to 24 hours of clips. So you can go back to 24 hours. The TP-Link, the Casa Cam will do two days or one gig with three cameras. Um, both of them can be upgraded um, to a yearly or monthly plan. What I've seen so far is the Casa subscription seems to be cheaper than the Amazon. So, all that being said, $119 takes a long time to kick on. Lightweight um, video quality, I don't believe is all that great. $98 video quality is great. Wider angle lens. Um, just better construction feels like. Easier app, faster to get provisioned and recording, uh, cheaper monthly plan. You know, the only concern is uh, we know that name isn't going anywhere in a long time. And TP Link's been around for a long time, but if they're not making any money in this cloud, smart home, Internet of Things model, how long will they last? There is your review. I will be buying many more of these TP-Link cameras.